Best Irish performance since McGregor knocked out Jose Aldo. You're probably wondering what we're talking about, right? Well, let us explain. As we started this campaign, mentioning to Liverpool fans that they'd be facing the crunch time of the season with their second choice goalkeeper, it would have definitely brought a look of worry on their faces. Look at Aaron Ramsdale's recent howler against Brentford that nearly cost Arsenal the three points. Number twos are usually there for filling in during rotation or stepping in for the main goalkeeper for just a few games. But what the Liverpool fans didn't see coming was how their academy has been and is still producing players who can easily make it into most teams in the Premier League, with Kelleher being one of those standouts. The 25-year-old Irishman hasn't just stepped up in place of the injured Allison, but he's also pulled off a series of stellar performances that would surely make even the Brazilian proud. Jurgen Klopp himself has heaped praise on his backup goalkeeper, saying he's the best number two in the world. Some might think this is just temporary excitement from a few good games, but in reality, these matches have been enough to show that Kelleher has what it takes to be Alisson's successor, or at least he could easily be one of the top goalkeepers in any other Premier League club. So if you want to know how crucial the keeper was, what does he exactly bring to the table, and what the future holds for him, hit that like button and subscribe button and let's jump straight into it. Okay, it's true that Kelleher isn't the first backup goalkeeper to impress. Manchester City have their reliable Brian Ortega, Dean Henderson once made waves at Manchester United. Indeed, there are plenty of instances where a number two grabbed their opportunities with both hands, impressing everybody. But let's get serious for a moment, guys. How often does a second choice goalkeeper step in not to only win his team a title, but also play a pivotal role in FA Cup qualification, all while keeping them undefeated and in the title race? It's a rare feat, isn't it? That's precisely what sets Kelleher apart from any other backup goalie in the world right now. In a mere eight appearances in the last two months, he's convincingly argued that he deserves a starting position. If Liverpool doesn't see that, surely he's bound to become a top goalkeeper elsewhere. Now focusing on the four competitions where Kelleher has shone in those eight matches, let's explore how crucial he was for Liverpool's success. A recurring theme in Liverpool's matches so far this season is their knack for conceding the first big chance of the game. So far this season, Season, the Reds are averaging 9.16 expected goals against in the first 30 minutes. Sometimes these opportunities lead to goals against them, but we all know what kind of mentality Klopp and his men have, and that's the main reason Liverpool have clawed back 23 points from a losing position in the league, more than any other team so far this campaign. Before we continue, make sure you do check out our top 7 Liverpool comebacks so far this season, it will definitely be worth your watch. Now going back to Liverpool conceding their play first, with Kelleher between the posts, this pattern didn't change. So let's dive into the league's performances and see how our Irishman manage in these situations, shall we? Ever since Alisson was sidelined with a hamstring injury, Kelleher has been the man in goal for Liverpool in four straight league matches, a winning streak that has kept them at the summit of the table. Over these four matches, Kelleher has let in three goals and secured one clean sheet. At first glance, these stats might paint the 25-year-old as a fairly standard keeper, but there's more to the story we're eager to share. Hear this out. Liverpool's unbeaten run in these last four league fixtures could have been mad if not for Kelleher's critical interventions. Take the match against Burnley, for instance. Kelleher was called into action to make three crucial saves, including a critical one-on-one -on -one showdown with Amdouni barely 10 minutes into the game. In the Reds' 4-1 triumph over Brentford, Kelleher was was instrumental making five saves. This included a remarkable dive to block Regulian's shot, but unfortunately for him, Ivan Tony was right there to pounce on the rebound. The match against Luton was a relatively calm affair for Kelleher, despite letting in the game's first goal. However, his performances took a vital turn in the clash with Nottingham Forest, where he played a key role in securing all three points. Just 23 minutes in, Anthony Alanga found himself in a one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Considering how the Reds were being tested in that game, Game, a lead for Forrest could have changed the complexion of the match entirely. That's the moment Kelleher rose to the occasion, stepping up to deny Alanga the chance to break the deadlock. Even during the Reds' recent clash with Manchester City at home, Kelleher stood tall between the posts and although he wasn't tested many times, he showcased that composure and leadership from the back. It's clear to see that Kelleher's formidable presence in goal has significantly influenced the outcomes of these matches. Just picture the scenario if Alanga had managed to score that chance. But 
hold on. It wasn't just in the league games that Kelleher made his mark. He was also the reason why Liverpool now have one foot already in the Europa League quarterfinals. Yes, the team scored five goals, but if it wasn't for Kelleher pulling off two spectacular saves in the first 20 minutes, Liverpool wouldn't have had this comfortable lead going into the second leg. With a high claim and a sweeping action and 19 attempted long balls, Kelleher showed his composure on the ball and ability to guard that defensive high line. You think this is it? We're just about to get started. His game-changing saves were just as pivotal in the FA Cup, particularly in the match against Southampton. With Liverpool navigating through an injury crisis and a packed fixture schedule, Klopp was compelled to put forward a younger squad for the cup tie. Naturally, it was anticipated that the Reds might take some time to settle into the match, potentially giving the Saints an opportunity to take the initiative. And that's precisely what seemed to be unfolding when Southampton netted an offside goal and hit the post, all within the opening five minutes. A minute later, Kelleher stepped up once again, pulling off a vital save to deny Seko Mara from close range, keeping the scoreline at 0-0. This allowed Liverpool to take the lead with a late goal in the first half from Lewis Comas and ended up winning with a comfortable 3-0. But the game wouldn't have been such a smooth ride if Kelleher hadn't made a crucial save, stopping Suleiman's chance just three minutes into the second half. It's like we're setting a pattern here. Kelleher standing tall stops the other team from getting ahead, keeping his team in the game and setting them up for the win at the end. You think we've run out of examples? We still didn't get into the most obvious one. In the EFL Cup final against Chelsea, it was the same deal. Chelsea had multiple chances with an unexpected goals of 2.28, but they couldn't get one past him. Kelleher was on fire, stopping all nine shots that came his way, including three that were just top-notch saves, not just keeping Liverpool in it, but helping them grab the title. Now you think stopping shots is just what keepers do, so Kelleher's doing nothing out of the ordinary, right? But here's the kicker. It's not just his saving skills that have people comparing him to Allison. Being the kind of goalkeeper Klopp wants isn't just about making saves. You've got to be good with the ball at your feet, know when to come out of your area to clear the ball, and keep up with a high defensive line. And Kelleher, he's shown he's got all of that down, proving he's cut out for the job. In the few chances Kelleher got to play in the Premier League, he's made three sweeper clearances. To give you a bit of context, Allison has done this 10 times. Plus, Kelleher even made a sweeping move in the FL Cup final, showing he's got what it takes to cover the back line when it moves up the field. He's a top-notch shot stopper and isn't afraid to come out and clear the ball, but how is he with his feet? Here's a stat that might blow your mind. Out of all the goalkeepers, Kelleher is 24th when it comes to the number of passes attempted, hitting 238 in the league, and we're not even counting goal kicks. Remember, the 23 goalies ahead of him are all first-choice goalkeepers within their team. This just goes to show Kelleher's confidence in playing the ball for the back, but there's more to it. You know how Liverpool likes to play at long some Sometimes, aiming for the forwards in behind runs, but have you noticed how some of these long balls aren't aimed at a player, but more into a certain area? Liverpool uses this tactic for two reasons. To beat the opposing team's first line of press and to land the ball in zones where they've got numbers or strength to win it back with their counter-pressing. Kelleher has shown he's up for this, especially in the games against Brentford and Luton Town. He made 47 passes that travelled more than 40 yards in those matches, standing in as another playmaker from the back alongside Van Dijk and Canate. These qualities, making key saves, bravery in sweeping up, and finesse with the ball at his feet are precisely what allow Kelleher to step into Allison's shoes so effectively. But there's also one trait that truly sets Kelleher apart. Something that can't be quantified with stats is his confidence. In the FL Cup final, it was Kelleher along with Endo and Van Dijk who formed the backbone of Liverpool's excuding calmness throughout the entire 120 minutes. This level of composure is infectious, particularly for the younger players, and it was evident. Watching him, you wouldn't think he's just a 25-year-old backup goalkeeper. The way he handles and stands with the ball radiates confidence. It looks like we're talking about a player that absolutely deserves a starting position. But the big question looms. Will Kelleher replace Allison once he's back from injury? Probably not. Klopp himself has said Allison is the best goalkeeper in the world, so what's next for Kelleher? Staying on Allison's backup is one option. Sure, Allison is 31, which is relatively young for a goalkeeper, likely giving him a few more seasons at the top. But would Kelleher be content to wait in the wings after such a standout season. That also seems very unlikely. So might he push for a move away to get more playing time? And would Liverpool be willing to let such a talent go? That's a hard to imagine. Kelleher has been with the club since he was 16, and the bond between the academy graduates and the club is usually strong. That leaves us with the most likely scenario, a loan deal. This could offer the perfect solution for all involved, giving Kelleher the first team experiences that he craves while keeping him within the Liverpool squad. Kelleher has the talent to easily fit into at least 10 of the other 19 Premier League clubs. Palace, 
Wolves, Newcastle, you name it. But we have a very specific club in our mind. Brighton seems like the ideal match for him. Not only would he reunite with former Reds Adam Lallana and James Milner, but he'd also find one of the league's best environments for a young player to thrive. Plus his skills in ball playing and sweeping are perfect fit for Roberto De Zerbi's tactical approach. In just a handful of appearances, Kelleher has proven why he's in need for more regular game time. The level of confidence he displays and his ability to command from the back are qualities seldom seen in a seasoned professionals, much less as a young backup goalkeeper. Now it's your turn to weigh in. Were you taken aback by the Irishman's performances so far this season? Do you believe he deserves more game time with the Reds, even after Allison makes his comeback? Or is there another Premier League team where you would see him fitting in better? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you liked our breakdown, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button for more Liverpool deep dives. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.